Finally, the long-standing mystery of the mechanism by which cancer cells promote metabolic changes has been explained. This discovery was made by metabolome analysis, the world's first technique of its kind, developed by IAB, our research institute. Using multiomics analysis of tissue taken from colorectal cancer patients, we discovered that colorectal cancer metabolism is controlled by MYC. First of all, let me give a brief introduction for cancer metabolism. As long as oxygen is available, cells in mammals normally use oxidative phosphorylation to generate ATP. However, in the 1920s, Otto Warburg declared that cancer is different. Irrespective of the amount of oxygen available, cancer generates ATP by high rates of glycosis. Although metabolic research in recent years has uncovered a number of specific metabolisms as well as glycosis in cancer, how cancer reprograms metabolism with what form of molecular mechanisms remained a mystery. Unexpected Metabolic Patterns There are only a few cases of research that use samples from a large number of colorectal cancer patients to systematically investigate several hundred metabolites. Therefore, we performed multiomics analysis of tissue taken from 257 colorectal cancer patients. Multiomics analysis of pairs comprising normal tissue and cancerous tissue produced an unexpected result. This is the first result of analysis. Normal tissue is shown in blue, and metabolic substances in cancerous tissue in red. Firstly, looking at the glucose in the glycolytic pathway, we can see that the level of glucose in cancerous tissue is significantly reduced. On the contrary, there is an accumulation of lactic acid, the final product of glycolysis, due to cancerous tissues showing high rates of glycolysis even in human colorectal cancer tissue, just as Warburg stated. This area is bright red and tells us that the purine biosynthetic pathway, additionally, methionine pathway, glutathione biosynthesis pathway, and the metabolic intermediates in the glutamine metabolic pathway a focal point in cancer metabolism, are high across the board in cancerous tissue. This figure shows an alignment of the results from the metabolites in all 275 cases. Tumor tissue is on the right, with 275 cases aligned in order of stages from benign tumors. The left side shows corresponding normal tissue. We discovered that almost all the metabolites are at the adenoma stage, where the concentration of metabolites has changed, and the concentration of metabolites remained more or less fixed, even if the cancer progressed. We found the metabolite that increased the most was the methylation donor, s adenosyl methionine. The most decreasing metabolome was serotonin, and the second most decreasing substance was glucose. Transcriptome comparison was conducted by DNA microarray analysis, like the results of measurement of metabolomes, results of measurement of the gene expression that codes metabolized enzymes showed fluctuations at the benign tumor stage and a more or less fixed level even if stages advanced. Colorectal cancer becomes symptomatic when mutations accumulate in oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes. It is known that in normal intestinal epithelium cells, firstly, polyps appear if mutations occur in APC, then grow when KRAS is mutated. Furthermore, mutation enters P53 to become cancerous. With this in mind, we'd use a next-generation sequencer to measure the presence or absence of mutations in colorectal cancer genes and tumor suppressor genes, and determined whether this produced changes in metabolism. From this, we learned that mutations in these genes do not cause changes in metabolism. As a result so far, we have learned that gene expression of elements, such as metabolites and metabolism-related genes, occurs at the adenoma stage, 
changes in these elements does not depend on the stage and that metabolism does not change when gene mutation observed in colorectal cancer takes place. So, what causes changes in metabolism? The question remains. Points in Solving the Mystery Up to Mick To solve the mystery of these changes, we tried using a transmission electron microscope. These are photographs of normal and cancerous tissue taken from a stage 3B colorectal cancer patient. The blackened points are cell nuclei. It's a little difficult to see, but there are a lot of elongated, thin black blotches. These are normal mitochondria. However, instead of these mitochondria, we found a lot of large, round, white blotches in the cancerous tissue. These blotches were mitochondria that had swollen and lost their crista and matrix. The same result was observed in tissue from all the other cancer patients, and the same phenomenon was also noted in adenoma tissue. In other words, this told us that mitochondrial abnormalities occur in colorectal cancer from the adenoma stage. We subsequently carried out various experiments from which we discovered that mitochondrial abnormalities were caused by the cancer gene, MYC. With this in mind, we carried out investigations to find out how MYC is expressed in actual colorectal cancer tissue. It is known that when APC or beta-catenine is mutated, MYC expression is heightened. But there have been cases where in some patients, MYC expression heightens, even in absence of APC or beta-catenine mutations. Moreover, heightened MYC expression was seven times higher on average in cancerous tissue than in normal tissue. MYC is the master regulator of cancer metabolism. We performed transcriptome analysis of genes with a high correlation with MYC and metabolism-related genes. We learned that genes, such as those shown here, have an extremely high correlation with MYC and demonstrate a high level of change. We formed a theory that metabolism-related genes are apparently regulated by MYC. To prove this theory, we used colorectal cancer biocells and knocked down MYC genes using two types of siRNA, the results of which are shown here. When MYC is knocked down in this way, gene expression was completely reversed from red to blue and blue to red. This suggests that the genes shown here are regulated by MYC. As a result of repeating these experiments, It was revealed that at least 215 metabolic reactions were regulated by MYC. In genes responsible for 215 metabolic reactions, at least more than 160 reactions are controlled. For example, 39 transporters, purine and pyrimidine biosynthetic pathways, one carbon metabolism, fatty acid metabolism, glycosis, and glyconeogenesis. Next, we looked into whether metabolites are also regulated by MYC. Colorectal cancer biocells are shown in black and MYC knockdown cells in yellow. According to the results of the first metabolome analysis, glucose levels were significantly depleted and lactic acid accumulated in colorectal cancer tissue. This reversed when MYC was knocked down. In other words, glucose increased and lactic acid decreased. Moreover, although I said that SAM demonstrated the highest level of increase among colorectal cancer metabolites, the level decreases when MYC is knocked down, while almost all amino acid levels rose in colorectal cancer tissue when MYC was knocked down, the concentration of almost all amino acids fell. In other words, we learned that MYC regulates not only metabolizing enzymes, but also metabolite concentrations. These results represent a major success in fields of research focused on metabolome analysis technologies. 
Will this become a therapeutic target for colorectal cancer? Finally, will MYC and its pathways become therapeutic targets for colorectal cancer? We have also conducted basic studies in this area. Using colorectal cancer biocells, we knock down MYC and elements such as pyrimidin and purine synthetic pathway metabolizing enzymes controlled by MYC and check to see if colorectal cancer cell proliferation was suppressed. MYC knockdown suppressed proliferation to 20% to 40%. In addition, we also found that knocking down metabolic enzymes in pyrimidine synthesis pathways also suppressed proliferation. But strangely, proliferation was not suppressed when purine synthesis pathways were knocked down. These results suggest that MYC and pyrimidine synthesis pathways may be promising therapeutic targets for colorectal cancer. <laughs> While changes in metabolism caused by colorectal cancer have long been a great mystery, by applying multiomics analysis during this research, we have discovered the manipulator behind the scenes by which colorectal cancer shifts metabolism. In the future, we hope that by developing therapeutic medication to control MYC, we will be able to eradicate colorectal cancer.